Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our reseller tutorial series. Okay, so in today's episode we're going to show you how to create a cPanel from within your web host manager or WHM. The uh, first thing you want to do is actually get to the WHM. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you that. You go to your domain name and put a slash WHM after it. So in our case, customercommunityreseller.com slash WHM. Hit enter. This will bring you to the login page for your web host manager. Now your username and password here will be the same as your reseller username and password for your cPanel. Okay, so enter that information and click the login button. You're taken to the WHM dashboard. This is what it looks like. And there's a lot of information here on the left-hand side, a lot of categories with sub uh, subcategories or sub-options. So you can narrow that down by using the search bar up top, or if you know where you're going, just open up the category. We're going to go to Account Functions. And then we see Create New Account right there. You can go there. If you want to get there quickly, you can type in Create using the search bar, and you can see it filters it down. Or if you click on account functions, then options appear here on the right-hand panel, and you can click that. Either way, it takes you to the same place. So here we are in the Create New Account page, and there are several sections you can see with domain information, package, settings, DNS settings, and mail routing settings. We're going to go through all those real quick. To create a cPanel account, you need to have a domain name to work with it. Uh, in this case, we're going to use example.com. All right, so if I'm creating example.com's cPanel account, I want to put it there. You need a username. Go ahead and hit tab, and it'll go ahead and suggest a username for you. Now, this username can be anything you want as long as it does not already exist as a username on your WHM. For example, you could not use your reseller cPanel name here because it already exists. All right, next you're going to give it a password. You can give a password or you can use the password generator. The password generator will generate a very strong password uh, at 100 strength, which is as strong as it gets. You can use any password you want. Just try to use something, you know, strength 50 or above to make sure it's pretty strong. Okay, once you've done your password, you go down to the email section. Now this is going to be the admin email for the cPanel. This means that the cPanel has to give out a notification. This is the email address it's going to send it to. So if you're creating a cPanel for a client, maybe you want to use their email address here so you don't get all the notifications. They're the ones that are going to be logging in to maintain the cPanel, so it's logical that you can use theirs. Any email address you want, though. Okay, so that's all for domain information. Next is packages. Now you can create different packages for your WHM so you can give different levels of service to your clients and you're going to pick a package to assign to this cPanel. Just click on it for the drop down, pick a package you've created, and that's it. All right, so we have the settings. CGI access is pretty basic, so we leave that checked. Next, we have the cPanel theme. This is the layout they're going to see when they log into the cPanel. The X3 theme that's currently selected here is on its way out, so we want to go with a new one, which is the paper lantern theme. All right, and locale, English is default, but you can select any other one you like if you need to. Here we are at the DNS settings. Um, just go ahead and leave these as is. And then the mail routing settings you can also leave as is. Now you can change any of these options that you like on any of these categories. If you know what you need it for and you know what you're doing, feel free. This is just the default setup. Once you've got everything set, hit create. And the WHM will then go ahead and create the account. Once it's done, you'll see a page here that shows the steps it took. And now the cPanel is created, and your client can now log in. Well, guys, that's it for another episode of the Reseller Tutorial Series. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for future videos, leave those in the comment section below, too. See you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.